Hey guys, I want to welcome you back to the Sensu Pop channel. A new ban list, Banda has just been announced this week to address the meta before moving forward to BT17, the ultimate squad. So what we are going to be doing in this video here is that we are going to be talking about some of these ban cards. I divided into three different categories. It's the good, the meh, and the downright ugly. And uh, yes, there is one card that I think that Bandai did it really, really ugly. We're gonna address it here in this video. But before we go on to the rest of this video, I would like to remind you to like and subscribe it really makes me happy and helps out this channel a lot. All right, let's go straight down. Let's talk about the good. The good is Gojira Zeno is dead. My heart goes out to those people who are very invested in this deck because this deck itself it is really good, however, it is also pretty, pretty themed, so it's very, very sad for me to see this deck, girls. However, this deck needs, kind of needs to get a hit because it is, I think, way too good. If this deck exists and in the form that it is right now, I don't think that we'll see other decks uh, being played at a very high level. So when you go up to a very high level, this is just basically, we're just seeing like Gojita Zeno, Gojita Zeno, Gojita Zeno. If it's black, it's Gojita Zeno, all right? Okay, so as a three Gojita Thor thing, the Dark Empire, it's not bad. It is only limited. I think that is a good choice. When it comes to SS3 Gogeta Marvelous Mind, I'm so sad to see this main engine for the deck. It's gone. This is totally bad. This card is a 20k heater with barrier, and then it has the ability to swing suddenly with just one energy, summon two one drop with the ability of Gogeta, the leader, and then the card, it's the battle card itself, and also with Paiku Han, the unison card, they can go up to 35k. Not during your turn, it's during uh, your opponent's turn as well. So 35k double strike, 35k crit. Oh, this are just so difficult to deal with. The next good, it's also aggression got hit. King Piccolo is also kind of dead. Uh, Piano Reign of Terror. This is one of the cards which is very, very crucial because it helps King Piccolo's to draw. And uh, King Piccolo doesn't have defensive ability in that, that defensive anymore with Drum being gone. Now with Pic Piano Reign of Terror being gone, so Piccolo doesn't draw that much anymore. We have taken a look at the good. Let us take a look at the meh. This one is Piccolo Jr. Descendant of the King. We all agree that this card needs to be hit, but I think it is just being hit for the wrong reasons. The reasoning that Bandai used to hit this card to limit it to one is that it is being played a little bit too much. Yes, it's being played a little bit too much because the, the, the auto is just a little bit too good not to play this card. The plus one is good. I think eventually this card without the auto, let's take a look at the auto, which is when your opponent activates a counter skills, choose one of your opponent's battle card with 15k power or less, and then you KO it. Uh, without the auto, I think it's fair. The problem is the auto is the one that tips to the top. So what we can do over here is do a limit one on the auto. I think it's fair. We can do a once per turn. I think it's fair. However, this is just uh, being banned for I limited, I guess, in my opinion, for kind of the wrong reasons because they want other people to play other units and cards. So uh, this is uh, something that I don't really like. So this one, it's... The auto, right? Let's talk a little bit about the auto. The auto itself, it's whenever. So every single time. Counter play, counter attack your opponent. has. Uh, if you have this card on the board, you can choose something that's 15k and then you KO it. Take a look at this. The reason, this card, in combination with Yamcha, you can even take out something which is 30k. So for example, the big ape, the, the five drop ape that is 30k, when your opponents do a counter play or counter attack and place that ape, counter window two, you can Yamcha, do a minus 15k. After a minus 15k, you can actually activate the auto, the auto is impending, then you, because that card itself, it's now 15k, you can kill it. This, the combination is just uh, ridiculous. This card in U7, it's so, so, so ridiculous. We have so many of this negate right now, which is a battle card negate, Mecha, Freezer, Oceanus. When you play that card, it gets KO'd, it gets KO'd, it gets KO'd. The Oceanus blocker, it gets KO'd. When you do Mecha, Freezer, it gets KO'd. They don't even have to choose the card that you play. They can choose any card that is 15k or less. So this card, I think that it should kind of be banned or errata. I think that should be way better. That is why 
I put it as a meh. The other meh is actually this two card, which is SS4 Bardox fighting against Fate, Secret Identity Marseille, and the two cards are being banned because they're too good. Kinda. Is, are they toxic? No. The reasons why they're being banned is because they're being played a little bit too much. They're being a little bit too stable. So they want to, so Bandai actually banned these two cards so that we would play more of the other black cards. I think that reason itself is, uh, it's, it sets a very bad uh, precedence. For example, if a card is not toxic, I don't think they should be banned because that's what the card is being designed for. It is not our fault that you design a card that's generically good. However, if, if a card is toxic, we ban it. If the card needs some rework, we errata it. Uh, if the card is too strong, but it's okay, we limit it. But this one, no, it's because they've been played a little bit too, they've been a little bit more stable and they're banning it because they want to encourage us to use other cards. I think that's really, really bad because it can happen to any of other cards that we like, that they can ban it because we played it a little bit too much. However, that was my first thought on Friday. That's why I didn't want to do it on Friday and Saturday, uh, also because I didn't have the time. However, I make this video, I gave it two days to think about it, but I think why I didn't put it as the ugly, it's because I believe that that is a consequence of us having no rotation. If there's no rotation, there is definitely a situation where Bandai creates a card that is generically good, right? But in order for them to encourage people to explore more strategy and not just play uh, secret, because right now if you want to do uh, Overwhelm, it's either one of these two cards. There should not be other cards in your head anymore because these two cards are just really, really good. So I totally understand this. So I believe that this is a mare because I don't like it, but I understand it. If there is no rotation, this is one of the things that we would, we the players, have to deal with. Okay, let's talk about the downright ugly. It is gonna be Android 17 most valuable player. This card itself is so, so, so expensive and it just came out very, very recently. This card is not bad. This card is not limited. This card has been errated. So it's it being errated in such a way that I think it's still uninteractable. However, it is, it, it's being hit really hard because now it costs three uh, solid energy for you to do it instead of one. This card, um, the reason is, I think it just came out too recent. I think this is late March or early April. So basically just like maybe like a month or two ago. And this price, it's so, so, so expensive. And people who have invested in this card, they deserve at least to get some uh, play out of it. However, this card has been proven to be very, very uninteractable. And Bandai just steps in and said, okay, sorry, we have to ban it. Um, the saving grace over here is that the Bandai, the card game designer, if you read their reasoning, they also apologize for banning this card a little bit too soon. And uh, so they realize that, okay, this is really an ugly move from them. I hope we don't see it ever again. Uh, my, my, uh, am I an invoker player? I'm not an invoker player. Do I own this card? Yes, I own one from my championship pack. Did I uh, buy any? No, I didn't buy any. So I'm not involved in it. But I believe that I can still feel empathy for those people that have dropped like 70 plus uh, dollars per card just to get this card so that they can play in vocal. I believe those people who play in vocal, in my opinion, they are like they love playing in vocal because you could play other decks that is just more just cheaper but those people that stuck with it drop the cash just to buy this card i think their passion is in vocal and they love the ui goku leader so a big uh i feel i feel for you guys all right so if you guys are the ones being affected i uh, uh condolences so these are my thoughts, my opinion on the ban list. So right now I would like to hear yours. Put it down in the comment section. What is the good? What is the mere? And what is the ugly? Did I miss anything other than Android 17 most valuable player? So we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, I appreciate it. You can give this video a like, subscribe if you want to support me and the channel. Stay safe, stay healthy. Enjoy playing the Dragon Ball Super Card game. I really hope you guys are okay. See you guys in the next video. Ciao.